So you have a sister that was a part of the, you know, Delta sorority, and she's going to detail the humiliation rituals. They would kidnap you. Like on top of that, like not even the Deltas, but like if the Qs, which was the brother for a uh, fraternity of us caught us, they could kidnap us. And then they would have to call your license. They would have to come get you. Like they could do whatever, you know what I mean? To you, like, you know, you have to get in the cut, which I mean, like take licks. Um, everything they smile wipe you they do this thing where they make you sit in delta chair which is basically like squats they sit on you they spit on you they hit you they know spit on you? Hair. yeah <laughs> yeah like um for real um they do they do all that i mean some of the stuff that we had to do at set i mean the most demeaning disgusting stuff that you could ever imagine we would do this thing called delta apple where we would literally all take and bite out of the onion and like pass it to each other you know we would eat dog food we would eat um what else how, how else you you know they would like if if one of the girls on the line had like the prettiest hair they would ruin it you know what i mean i'm talking about like ruin it you know what i mean um now uh what else you know pushing shoving smacking hitting you know what i mean you would have to take wood wood is where they you know they got the big paddles you would have to get in the position and they would just tag you in, tag you out, you know, that kind of environment. If now y'all know my position on those Greek organizations or AKA the boule, you know, my position, a lot of them are enemies of black society. Um, they have never been for black people. They always try to tie their hands into racism, white supremacy. And they are the ones that tie in with the Democrat party. You understand what I'm saying? And they get their little trinkets, but to make sure to sell us down the river. If you look at mostly black politicians, if you look at a lot of these black news anchors that's out there, they got voices. If you do the research, a lot of them is connected to these, you know, uh, uh, sororities. And I always say, I remember one time they got mad with me when on Twitter, I say, y'all are black people, African descent. Why in the world y'all talking about a Greek organization? Last time I checked Greek was white folk. You're not white and white supremacy don't accept you. Greeks don't accept you. So what you talking about a Greek organization? I'm like, oh, he, he come, he, this is, this is a super black pro black. I'm like, no, it's not super pro black anything. I'm just asking the question. Why can't you call yourselves an African organization or something like that? You call yourself a Greek. Oh, and then they get upset. They get upset when you talk about them. Oh my God. They get more upset when you talk about their sorority than you talk about their own community. Seriously, they get pissed off. I mean, one time I was talking about one of them. Well, I was talking to the husband of one of them actually. And I was saying something about their organization and then the husband started getting involved with the conversation. She got so upset. But uh, now I'm kind of understanding, like, why would you go through humiliation rituals to be a part of that? that? Like, why would you go through humiliation rituals to be a part of that? But then, of course, some of them go come on here. She's lying. That didn't happen to her. We didn't do this. We didn't do that. You know, I've had guys that say the same thing. Oh, well, what's wrong with the uh, uh, sororities? What are y'all doing for the black community? Not a freaking thing because y'all get in these so-called sororities and y'all practice nepotism. Y'all don't do nothing for the black community whatsoever. Yes, we do. We give out turkeys for Thanksgiving and we give out a toy drive on Christmas. Once again, you doing nothing for the black community. Okay. That's two days out of the year. What about the other 363 days of the year? What are you doing for the black community? Oh, I know what you're doing. Selling uh, black people out to the Democrat party, selling us out to, to Joe Biden and them. That's what you're doing. So you can get a job while the rest of us suffer. Cause you know, notice these Greek organization people, they don't, they're not the big proponents of reparations like that. All you in Cobras and Narcs and all them boule, all of them boule. And that's why they don't like me. They don't like me because I, I, I have been told they don't like me like that because I call them out and that's fine. But if you were supposedly for the black community, you could take criticism, but you don't want to take criticism because messing up your hustle with white mommy and white daddy. But why would you go through anything like that? Why would you allow someone to make you eat an onion? Why would you let someone to hit you with a paddle? Why would you let someone just to humiliate and disrespect you like it? to get in an organization? I'm like, man, forget your organization. Your organization not doing anything. It's not doing nothing whatsoever. Y'all in the Jack and Jill and all these little secret organizations that white supremacy have that, that, that y'all have some of y'all black folks in. And the grassroots is the enemy of the boule. They don't like us.
They can't stand us. They hate us with a passion, especially Boule Martin. You know, he can't stand, he can't stand the grassroots at all. But, but y'all let me know what y'all think about what this sister's talking about here. Like to go through something like that, just to be in an organization, y'all are crazy as hell.